What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John Thingamajit here. Welcome you back to another episode of The Saga Lock. Hopefully, y'all are having a wonderful, 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 and a further wonderful day. Um, angles changed on the camera, as you can tell. I don't know if I like this angle. I completely destroyed my screen. Um, congratulations to me. Y'all can't even hear the game audio. Uh, it's fine. It's whatever. I'm just being dumb today, and it's whatever, okay? There's a lot going on. There actually is. 2023 has started in such a great fashion. Oh, my God, guys. It's been great. Um, yeah. Woo. I just, I, yeah. Lots of things have happened. Not fun, but it is what it is. We are going to go ahead and take on some fights today, though, and hopefully that'll make that a little bit better yeah no, i don't i hate this camera angle i'm sorry i'm putting it back where it was i don't care if my screen is gonna break even further by doing such what's crazy to me right is it's like i don't know how it broke like it's it's not even a heavy that much heavier than the other thing when I just decided it was gonna break. Whatever. It, it, it's. It is what it is. Honestly, I, I like this angle a lot better. Anyways, I don't know if you guys what angle you guys prefer, but I definitely am more of a fan of this angle. She walks that way. It literally didn't matter. Um, one thing I'm thinking about doing is like, actually, you know. You know what? I'm actually not mad about that. Actually, I like that because yeah, no, I'll take that. That's a win. I'll, I'll take that. Um, if I can actually do things correctly, though, that would help. There we go. Yeah. See, okay. I don't know. I like. I, I think this is fine. What do you guys think? Because I feel like I'm right in the middle. I have to look up for my game, anyways. And if I wasn't looking up with my game, it'd be like this. But you guys could tell, like, I'd not have to. I'd have to probably green screen stuff out. But I just invert it so that I'm looking a different direction. But like this kind of looks like I'm looking at the game as well. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, we're fighting a vanillish because uh, it's a vanillish, of course. Vanillish is like a good Pokemon. 100% doesn't make me feel bad at all for us crushing it with our Rocky Balboa. Ugh. Woo! Rocky Balboa Avalanche. Sorry, buddy. You're gonna get avalanched. I mean, I wish that Avalanche was Travis Kelsey, but... Oh, 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 oh. Speaking of, um, you guys might be wondering, why is there a Shady Penguin on the screen still, but all the other men are gone? Well, we're mad at Nidorina, and Nidorina won't evolve unless we find a Moonstone. So... Considering that our Nidorina is absolutely trash... I decided it might be a beneficial good idea if I just put Shady Penguin on the layout because I like him a lot and I can have, like, still have a sexy man on the layout and I can think about things, but I don't have to worry about things, right? Because, you know, if I don't evolve Need Arena, it's whatever because I have Shady Penguin on the layout so I can be happy no matter what because, you know, we all know I'm down bad and need to find the Travis Kelsey of my own. Although Travis Kelsey is single. So, uh, maybe I can hit... I'm joking. <laughs> uh, no, I wouldn't actually. I, I don't have the confidence within myself to do anything like that. Me having confidence? Y'all don't know me. My confidence is lower than hell, literally. Lower than hell. That's how low my confidence is. Don't even know how how many yards or miles or light years hell is but it's lower than that so uh yeah hashtag confidence queens no honestly okay so i went and avoided this because i thought we were gonna have a fight and we don't so, so that was dumb of me to avoid because it's two freaking encounters i missed last episode that i gotta get this episode instead Whoop -de -doo -da! also nebby's in a completely different area wait a minute is the expanse closed? Is the expanse actually closed? 
what I mean by the expanse is uh, over this direction, there's like a cave of sorts. And we have this encounter and another encounter. That other encounter. I can call dupes on this. I can freaking call dupes on this. See, Nidoran is a good choice. It's our What's funny though, I, I love the fact that like, it's like Nidoran, no. No, Nidoran. I think it is close. It like it so about this episode actually progressing things. It's, it's not. Also, I need to remember that there are lines on this monitor. So I gotta look up on this monitor to see what level things are. It's level 9. So with it being level 9, it's a... It's a special tank. Level 9 special tank. You don't have any, like, low power moves, though. Yay has acid. That I prefer that. Because you're not ground type yet, yay. So we're okay. So yay, this is your like one use, apparently. Okay. Fairy type move. But yeah, I'm gonna acid, because that's the only thing I can do. That's gonna Oh, haze. Cool. Haze is actually a really good move, so I'll take that. That's a big win. Oh, that's that's right, I have true. Duh. I'm like, what are you getting nightmare? True on. John, the whole reason Shady Penguin's on the layout instead of freaking yay. <laughs> it's almost, it's almost like there's a reason that Shady Penguin's on the layout. Because I can look at that thick beard and praise it all I want to while not being frustrated at yay. Yay, like honestly, yay is the complete and total beneficiary of this decision. Um... And I'm doing what's best for my Pokemon, like a good Pokemon trainer, because I can't get mad at Yay if I'm staring at Shady Penguin that whenever I see Yay. Yay doesn't have a portrait. That's Yay's punishment. Yay's punishment is she sends me to La La Land. Honestly, that's a pretty good punishment, if I would say so myself. Um, of course, I enjoy this punishment. But I would say instead of actually yelling and getting mad at Yay, Yay being able to put me in La La Land is a good punishment. Anyways. I want to attack it one more time. Hit me, baby, one more time. Honestly, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Also, I watched. Oh my god, I watched a video about thing of, of things that are 20 years old in 2023. 50 Cent's birthday song. Oh my god, like I re I cannot believe that that is th almost 20 years old. Like, excuse me, that is not allowed to be almost 20 years old. Okay, like I listened. To I literally, one time on my mom's birthday, I had that song, I set up my laptop, and the, mind you, these were crappy, trash laptops, and played 50 Cent Your Birthday on it, for her birthday, and I was like, oh my god, how is that song 20 years old? Like, no, I refuse to believe that that song is 20 years old, like, no, like, Absolutely not. We're not allowed to be 20 years old. No. <laughs> so yeah, that that was that was frustrating to learn today. Uh, also, learned, okay, Finding Nemo too. I'm like, oh my god, no, 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 no. Finding Nemo's not allowed to be 20. That was the first freaking movie that my mom took my sister to the theater for. Okay, like, no, that cannot be 20. Yeah, she was like three. She was gonna be like almost three when that happened. Um. Which is also insanity. Well, actually, really, what I mean by almost three is because I believe that Finding Nemo came out, like, near her birthday, which would have been her two-year-old birthday. But it was, like, a year after the fact or something. Because the, the, the movies would stay in theaters. Uh, this is going to make me feel old. Back in the day, movies would stay in theaters for more than, like, a month and a half. So, I'm actually in a dream bullet. Why not? So, because of that... It's just like, okay, cool, sick, got it, nailed it, and yeah, okay, good. This, you know, I figured that was worth it. If it was a Master Ball, I would be okay with it. So, yeah, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> I mean, we all know that everybody gets old at some point, but, like, I'm literally... So, m Millennials, I believe, start in 90, 98, technically. Maybe it's 96. I don't know. Um, what year is the millennial generation? 
96. So technically a part of Generation Z, but I'm like the, the old part of Generation Z. Um, which makes makes sense because my mom's a millennial and my dad my mom is like the very old old end of millennials um and my dad's gen x um so that makes sense uh really uh but it's funny because there was a there, there was a whole joke going around and i was like i'm the youngest part of the millennial squad because because back i i always thought millennial was like it started in 2000 right um so tactically, I was like, I'm a millennial too. <laughs> it's like, no, no, not, not really. That's not how that works. But because I was 99, so I know I, I was born before Y2K technically. But okay, I say technically because literally it was like a month and a half. But <laughs> no, I was like two months. But still, um, I won't even think I'm gonna catch this. What a grand situation. Don't I have Yawn? No, I think it's in a different series. I have Yawn. Hold on. Do I have any form of status moves? No, not on this. Nope. 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 Okay, no, I do not. So this is just, it is what it is. So yeah, so being part of said generation, it was just like, okay, this is the thing. But yeah, being technically, but it's weird because it's kind of what I would like to say a generational flux is like, because people from the top, it's kind of like um, when you're on the top end of a generation, which I am. Um, no matter how you slice it, if you slice millennials as 96 or 98, it's like that flux. I'm at the top end of a generation. So what the a lot of the things from the millennial era, I'm going to be like, oh my goodness, because it. I also had a lot of those experiences in school. Whereas if you're talking about the bottom end of Gen Z, I might not know a lot of what's going on there because well who gives a flying about stuff that's going on so it like my the being part of the flux era which i would say the flux era is 97 to 99 um because at the end of 1996 is still millennial um so like 97 to 99 it's weird because a lot of that stuff we did grow up with, we did have as part of our norm, as part of the things that we looked at, part of the things we grew up with. Freaking iTunes, like, that was a big one too that was a part of that, was iTunes. And I'm just like, iTunes is not allowed to turn 20. Absolutely not. Because, what the hell? It's not. Like, I, I refuse to let it turn 20. Like, yeah, I get the fact that I was four when I just came out, right? Like, that's fine. I get that. So, why does it matter? Kind of quote, unquote. But, like, also, it still was a big thing. Like, you wanted iTunes. You wanted to get those, like... That. You wanted to get the iPod for and the iPod Touch and the iPod blah, 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 blah. And all those, like, I, the iPod was huge. I remember playing this game on my mom's iPod when she had it, and it was like a brick-breaking game. It was literally such a minuscule game, but I remember it. It was like watermelon something. Um, but yeah, it was such a little game, but it didn't matter. Or like times where, um, so we had, we used to have a Burger King, right? Um, in this city that I live in. We don't anymore. That Burger King was long gone. It has been replaced with a more fancier restaurant um but in the burger king my mom would play tetris on her ipod while we'd be on the, like the big play sets and stuff like that they would be like it's like but yeah again random things like that that you remember because it was a big part of like the history of things but you gotta think i was like maybe four five or six 
when a lot of that was going on, anywhere between four and six. So I would remember, but if you tell like somebody at the end of Gen Z, do you know what an iPod is? They'll probably be like, absolutely not. We never had to deal with that. I know what an iPhone is. It's like, no, no, Sherlock, you know what an iPhone is. Duh. You know, the iPhone 1 came out, you know, it's fine, I remember that, it's whatever. I know I don't, I actually don't remember that. <laughs> I don't even know when the iPhone 1 came out. Google! I, mean, I don't really care, I've never had, I've never had an Apple phone, but I will say, picture quality is absolutely garbage on these kind of phones, but I don't take pictures, so it doesn't actually matter. Uh, but if I were somebody to take pictures, I would understand wanting an Apple. Um, but I don't, so it literally doesn't matter. The, that that quality does not matter to me. When did the iPhone 1 come out? That's why I don't remember. Okay, so, yeah, but 2007. Like, so I, okay, so apparently I do remember when the first iPhone came out, but, like, also, I didn't care about it, because I, I was in no shape to get a phone. I didn't get a phone till I was in... Uh, freshman year, and that was only because I did sports. If I didn't do sports, I wouldn't have gotten a phone until junior year. Um, so, again, phones were never on my radar. Again, I don't really necessarily care about phones, really, honestly. I, I have my ringer off 90% of the time. Right now, it's on because of, again, events that happened in 2023 that we stand in love. I'm spending this entire episode catching this thing. <laughs> this entire episode is just, okay, we're going to go catch our encounter now because I'm going to just rant about 8,000 different things and not actually touch my encounter because, of course, it's a, a legendary encounter that is great and lovely and we stand it and we have made 40 steps of progress in one episode. Woo! Yas! I don't even think we're going to actually be able to catch this. I think I'm going to have to save state because I go to work in eight minutes. Reggie Ice, I want you because you're an ice type and you're especially defensive. Wall of a pit. You're like, I don't I don't need offensive prowess. You're a great fit for this team because of your defensive specialties in case something died. Hopefully not Shady Penguin because we stand him and he better stay on the layout this entire time. Honestly, don't. No, I straight up do not care if I get a Moonstone. That's the best part. I don't care if I get a Moonstone because the longer I don't get a Moonstone, the longer I get to stare at Shady Penguin. Quite honestly, quite honestly, I generally do not care. Usually, I'd be like, oh my god, where's the moonstone? Oh, and it's like, I can't find it. Oh, but I don't, literally don't care because I'm staring at Shady Penguin and those glasses and those eyes can stare into my soul and that beard and that hair and those eyebrows. Like, honestly, I cannot, I don't care. I literally don't care. It's great. I love the feeling of not caring about things. Something that Charles Matari teach me for a long time! But it's fine. Um, Troll literally has been trying to teach me the art of not caring about certain things. Obviously, emotional intelligence is a great skill to have, but not being neurotic and freaking out about every little thing is fine. When it comes to content, when it comes to like XYZ, it's totally okay. Honestly, he's taught me a lot, so thank you, Troll. Um, that's why, because normally I would not, I would not be doing that. It would be like, Need Arena would be on the screen, and it doesn't matter. Need Arena's on the screen, and it doesn't have to be this way. It does not have to be this way. I can literally, I love it because he's in the middle of the layout. I love it even more because he's in the middle of the layout, because my eyes tend to focus on the middle of the layout anyway, which is why it's funny, because I'm sure that Charizard's noticed, but I usually will name whatever's in the middle of the layout first. Or, because I try and go in order, but all the first things that come to mind, it would be, right now, Beegers, Yay, and Rocky Balboa. Boop, boop, boop. Magic I'd forget about because I don't usually use Magic, which is hence why I forgot about Magic. Um, because he was on the very left side, and then when he transferred into the middle, I was like, oopsies, it's fine. Um, I actually think that is when I forgot him, was when he was on the very left side, but now Magic's just down the layout, and he's gonna be fine. Um, yay, I'm going to remember until, in, literally only because it's Shady Penguin, if, uh, it goes into the back side of the layout, um, which I really hope it won't, but there's a high probability of that. Um, I cannot catch this thing to save my life. It really does not want to be on the screen. Like, okay, here's the thing, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. Regice. Mr. Mr. Regice, you are a important piece of the puzzle. Just let me, let your, let yourself be that important piece, my guy. You're a very important piece of this puzzle, and honestly, I completely understand you getting upset and frustrated. 
And I mean, look, it's honestly, it makes sense. Being frustrated, being upset, I can get it. 2023 has been rough, it's been annoying. All of its glory and its ways. But you need to make sure that even when life is rough, that you don't care about life being rough. You wanna know why you don't care about life being rough? Because you, you, yourself, have to make your situation better. It does not matter how gruesome or bad that situation is. It's up to you to make it better. And by joining the team, you will make it better. I, that would have been love. Imagine if you actually would have been taught there. But yes, you will make your situation better by joining this team. And honestly, if you stay in a heal ball, you get fully healed instantly. And that already will make your situation better. He's debating, but I don't think I'm going to have enough Pokeballs to do this. I really don't, because, well, and uh, Pokeballs in time. But he's he's in the debation, debating mode. I don't think he's ever shaken three times yet, though. Come on, Mr. Regice. You're a legend among legends. Your typing is... Your typing is a typing. But it helps, because you resi you're, you're super especially defensive against the typings that you're weak to. And you have coverage, like, Haze, there's a lot going for you, bud. There's a ton going for you. I'm wasting all my Pokeballs on you because I care about you. Like, you gotta realize what I'm doing. I'm using every single Pokeball that I can because I know and appreciate you. I appreciate the Reg Ice. I'll pull your fingers, Red Eyes. I will walk over there and pull the fingers. Mm. I'm glad I have a lot of potions. I really don't know. I can't chunk it down any further. So, I, I mean, at this point, it is what it is. I just don't want to lose out on this. But like I was saying, there's literally another encounter on the horizon, like... So I'll have to go spend money on Pokeballs, but... <laughs> critical capture is what I would be nice. If I can get a critical capture... That would be amazing right now. It's the last opportunity to heal yourself, mister. Nope. Wow. A lot of me just wants... I've got six... You got six... You got six chances to get into a ball. Oh! Ah. Uh. I don't know if that made any difference in an animation. It just looked different. more opportunities but I don't know if we're gonna I don't think we're gonna catch this but I made a valiant effort that's all I'm gonna say a valiant effort was made I did the best that I could I used every single Pokeball I had. Well, what a lovely episode. We took 40 steps. We had talked about how old we are, and we're probably gonna get this Moonstone right here. Honestly, watch, watch that actually be the case. <laughs>
It's the Hugo Blimp Stone instead. <laughs> that was a good one. What a good capper. I'm so glad I went and got that. Bye, y'all.